So I wanted to talk about um, the new posters that have propped up on the London Underground. And they say staring, um, sexually intrusive staring is sexual harassment and will not be tolerated. Um, now, how do they figure out what constitutes uh, sexually intrusive staring? Um, I have no idea. And how they're going to be able to police it, I have no idea. But it seems double standards here because I'm pretty sure this is aimed specifically and entirely at just men. We know for a fact women stare at men in a sexually attractive um, way. Um, lots of women do it. Um, if a man was to feel uncomfortable and he reported that, um, would he be taken seriously in the same way? Or would he be laughed out the building um, and not taken seriously in any, in any way? Now, it seems um, this is going to mean dating and men specifically asking women out is going to be a complete lottery. 100% um, pick it from a hat because you're going to have to be able to know with 100% certainty um, if you're going to smile at a woman or say hi that it's going to be reciprocated um, because it could end up in you getting a date or potentially it could end up in you spending a night in the cell and that is seems to me if we're going to go on this lived experience that that is purely down to the woman's interpretation so there's nothing that defines what constitutes um sexually intrusive staring in law it's just purely down to the um person's interpretation and rest assured if they've reported it to the police there's only one interpretation they've got and it also means for example um, it depends who's doing the staring this is an important factor um, we have to bring up so a guy could stare at a woman um, in an innocent manner a smile um, and if she finds him unattractive, um, she's likely to be, be creeped out and think, oh, this is disgusting, it's it's creepy. And under this, there's a good chance that she may think, hmm, I think that's harassment, um, so I'm going to report him. Now, the exact same behaviour, when done by, for example, if Brad Pitt were to do it, it's not creepy all of a sudden then, and there's no way she'd interpret it as sexual harassment so the exact same behavior can be viewed favorably seen as a good thing or could end up in being criminalized um for harassment purely depending on which guy's doing it and whether the woman thinks he's uh, attractive or not um this is going to mean not so good use for relationships between men and women um let's be clear let's be clear on this women are attracted to um strong confident dominant men and that doesn't mean assholes or you have to be an asshole to be those things you can be a thoroughly decent guy and be all those things but you must be those things um and part of that is the ability to be able to go up to a girl and ask her out. Um, that's a must. If you cannot do that, you are drastically, drastically lowering your chances of meeting somebody. Because women are not going to um, make the first move on you. Uh, so you have to be able to do that. Now, if men are just too terrified because they think if they so much as smile at a woman 
that it could be seen as sexual harassment and they may end up being arrested and then everybody's going to go around looking at the floor and both sexes are going to suffer because men will be too scared um, to talk to women and then women will suffer because the right guys um, are not approaching them and that means we're going to end up moving more towards the online world where human beings don't interact how human beings were meant to interact they end up just swiping at 2d images online um let's be clear biology trumps anything else in this instance men and women have always looked at each other um and men and men women and women if that's the way they're inclined um if they find each other attractive now on somewhere like the tube where you've got so many people in su such close proximity and sometimes for a prolonged period of time men and women are going to be looking at each other or they find attractive that's just a fact um are you going to police it are you going to interpret it interpret what who's looking at who and what and whether it's harmless or it's sexual harassment um the trouble is you can't and even if you did how would you be able to prove it in a court of law um the only way we could do that is if we just go down the road of well if they said it is they interpret it as such that's their lived experience therefore it must be um that's not good that's that's heading towards a totalitarian state let's be clear and as long as innocent staring and flirting is going to constitute um, sexual harassment and then it trivialises and normalises and undermines real sexual harassment. Um, and that is not a good thing either. Anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the content, um, please feel free to subscribe and any questions yeah i'll do my best to answer them thanks